You can create a new chord progression from the welcome screen. If you lose this somehow, you can go to uh, view and then welcome to Level Studio. Or inside of the piano roll, go to your tools and then generate chord progression. And this is the one that you would like to see. So you have a conventional side, which is the more traditional, the popular chord progressions. And it's more adventurous. Now, if you're a noob, go more to the conventional side. It is more proven and popular ones. So I like to have my settings right here. Then right click here on the scale. Go to edit. Well, you can also choose random and let FLCO choose. I like to go to edit. And for example, let's set this to C sharp minor natural. And then we can click generate. It will generate a chord progression for us. You can click here on the play button or use it with the spacebar. If you're happy with it, you can keep it and accept it, or you can generate again. Now, let's say you're happy with all those. You can lock those in. And then it will keep this one, and it will only uh, adjust the ones without the lock. See, this will change. Or if it is one, as example here, you can click here and choose any other option. Or click this button right here and it will generate another one. Now I will remove those locks. You can also control click to select them and right click to see all the other options. Voicing is a pretty neat one that I found. And I can choose stacked so I get more uh, notes inside of my chords. Here I can change length, but I like it as bar. And right now I have four chords, but I can change it easily to, let's say, eight. And then I will have eight ones. Or what I like to do is start out with four and build on top of this uh, myself. This right here, uh, it will start over. Or you can click here, reset, and delete all the history. Well, maybe it is annoying for the scale. But then you, if you clicked some, uh, some things too much, you can reset it back here and generate once again. Uh, by the way, I want to show you right now. There are also common chord progressions in here. So let's go here for a warm chord progression. And you can also choose a rhythm. You can also randomize it. For example, shuffle. Or click one. Well, we start out with the default right here. But, uh, you can also have this one. You can also go to the performance tab and humanize it furthermore. But don't overdo it. Advanced, I like to keep my hands off this. Performance, I don't really use it. More here in the presets. You can also type in uh, one yourself. Well, this is a very bad one, but just uh, to show you. Hit enter, and there you, there you have it. But uh, let's remove those and uh, generate the chords uh, once again like this. By the way, you can also remove the bass notes. Now, I wouldn't do that if I were you, but uh, it is there, the option, if you really would like it like this. And have some fun with it. You can also solo um, it out to only hear the chord progression that you have. Let's say you have other sounds in here. And, uh, well, this is basically the most important settings. You can click Accept. And then you see this here right in the piano roll. You can play this. Now, if you want to edit it, you can see the bass notes, they are loose. But those ones, they are grouped together. What you can do then is have a selection and Alt-G. It ungroups them. So you can, for example, do your own inversions, build on top of them. I hope that helped. Have a lot of fun with this one.